When I first inquired about joining Federal Council, I must admit I had very little idea about whether I had any skills that would be useful. I was probably terrified about the time commitment and whether I would be able to do that. I still didn't even have my head around how everything was structured. Our branch used to send motions to state conference and then be told they needed to go to federal conference. And at the time, we didn't really know where the issues sat or why that was. What I did know was that my family personally and many people's um, families in the community had benefited from the work that previous members of ICPA have put in and the support that came with it from state, federal and other branches. So we go all the way from community childcare, uh, we've got distance ed, we have rural schools, we have kids who need to go away for boarding, kids who do apprentices, kids who go on to tertiary. And at all of those stages, it's just so much trickier without the support that ICPA offers and the advocacy work that they have done in providing subsidies or rules around bus travel, that sort of thing. So I was also very impressed with how professionally ICPA ran their conferences. And I really did want to stretch myself uh, a little and thought this is promising training ground for me to get some board experience. I didn't know if my skills would be of much use or how much I'd be able to contribute. I didn't know if I knew how to do this. I really wasn't sure if I'd actually be able to do my other job much justice. And I didn't know how I was going to juggle this with my new role. No, I would not tell my younger self you've got this because that's just annoying. What I would tell her is, you're right, you don't have any idea how to do this, but you have found the right team to teach you and look at you now. So what do you need to join Federal Council? You do need to be 18 years old and a financial member of ICPA, so check your membership is up to date. You need to be able to have time and energy to dedicate to some monthly meetings, mostly on Zoom, a couple of face-to-face -face meetings a year. The conference is in July, August every year. You need to be able to attend that and just be willing to be part of a team and learn. And we'd love to see you here too, keeping rural and remote education on the national agenda.